The Spanish Prime Minister says that the state will always guarantee the rights of those who wish to protest their ideas peacefully. It's, it would be a joke if it wasn't so serious. Minister, two years after democratically elected cabinet ministers, politicians and civil activists held a peaceful demonstration on the question of self-determination for Catalonia, severe penalties were handed down by the Spanish Supreme Court to the former Catalan leaders. Catalonia's question on self-determination of its 7.5 million people has been quashed by a so-called democratic nation belonging to the European Union. What has happened throughout the course of Catalonia's self-determination process has raised real, real questions as to the true nature of the European Union itself. Primarily, how it can allow one of its nation states to hold political prisoners, while on the other hand not explicitly recognise Catalonia's right to self-determination and claiming it to be an internal political matter. As part of their efforts to stop the referendum, the Spanish government has blocked Catalan websites, seized pro-succession material and detained officials involved, involved in the re referendum, threatened to arrest 700 mayors and held a crackdown on information. They seized 1.3 million posters, flyers and pamphlets on, at the referendum time. Meanwhile, the Spanish Prime Minister says that the state will always guarantee the rights of those who wish to protest their ideas peacefully. It's, it would be a joke if it wasn't so serious. A lot of attention has been paid to the violence and unrest surrounding the most recent march, when in fact this has been preceded by an overwhelmingly peaceful march of over half a million people. Europe continues to ignore this situation. Most recently, the EU Commission said that it fully respects the Spanish constitutional order, including decisions by the Spanish judiciary, and that the situation remains an internal matter for Spain. Much as I actually probably said about the British occupation of the North as well for, for years and years, only that it suits them now to give the Brits a kick in. They're actually supporting us now. So maybe if, it, if they want to give the Spanish a kick in, they'll actually turn around and support uh, the Catalan Catalonian people as well. But meanwhile, Europe fails to realise that by ignoring the situation in Catalonia, it is eroding democracy in a profound way, a dangerous situation of Europe's own self-determination as a pro-democratic institution, supposedly, has any hope of surviving the challenges of the 21st century.